Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the stress concentration factor for an actually loaded bar to find the maximum allowable force that can be applied to the bar. I have been given a question which states that if the allowable normal stress for this bar is 200 megapascal, we have to find the maximum actual force that can be applied to the bar. Before solving the problem, first let us define some terms. So width of this bar, okay before the fillet okay in this portion this is equal to 40 mm weight of the bar after the fillet okay that is in this portion this is 20 mm diameter of this hole this is 20 mm thickness of the bar this is equal to 5 mm and radius of the fillet portion this is equal to 10 mm okay so maximum stress in this bar will occur at the portion uh, at which the bar has minimum cross-sectional area. We can see from the figure that this bar has a minimum cross-sectional area either at this hole or at this fillet. Okay, so these are the two portions of the bar at which the failure can occur if this load P is applied which will exceed the allowable uh, load for this bar. So we will take two cases. Okay. First, we will assume that failure will occur at this fillet portion and from this we will find the maximum allowable force that can be applied to this bar and after that we will assume that failure will occur at this whole portion and again we will find the maximum allowable force that can be applied to the bar so that it will not exceed the allowable force. Okay, and the lower of the these two values, this will control the design of the bar. So first, let us assume that the failure of the bar will occur at the fillet. Okay, so ratio of W by H, that is the width before the fillet and width after the fillet. This is equal to 40 by 20, which is equal to 2. And ratio of R by H, that is radius of fillet and uh, radius of fillet divided by the width after the flood this is 10 by 20 which is 0 0.5 after that you have to use the chart for the stress concentration factor okay which is shown here in which the horizontal axis this is the ratio of r by h and vertical axis is the value of stress concentration factor and these curves these are the ratio of w by h okay for uh, our case w by h is equal to okay which is this curve here and r by h this is 0 0.5 so from 0 0.5 you will draw a vertical line this will cut this curve of w by h equal to at some point from this point you will draw a horizontal line and this will cut the vertical axis at some point and this is the value of the stress concentration factor for our case so in our case the stress concentration factor is 1.4 allowable stress this is given as k times the average stress okay so average stress at this fillet portion this will be equal to load divided by width into thickness okay allowable stress for our case this is 200 mega pascal which is equal to 200 into 10 raised power 6 pascal k value this is 1.4 okay p we have to find okay and value of h for our case this is equal to 20 mm and thickness of this uh, bar this is equal to 5 mm putting values okay and solving for p we get the value of p in this case equal to 14.29 kilonewton so this is the value of the allowable load that can be applied to the bar uh, that can be applied to the bar so that the failure uh, at the fillet will not occur okay next we will assume that the failure uh, of this bar will occur at the whole portion okay for this case we will find the ratio of 2r by h okay 2r this is the diameter of the hole which is 20 mm and w this is the width of the bar before the fillet so 2r by w this is equal to 0 0.5 after that you will use the chart that is a chart for stress concentration factor for holes okay so for our case value of 2 r by w this is 0 0.5 which is here from this you will draw a 
vertical line okay this will cut the horizontal axis at some point and this will give you the value of stress concentration factor equal to 2.1 okay so stress concentration factor in this case is 2.1 again allowable stress this will be given as k times the average stress okay and average stress at this whole portion this will be equal to load divided by w minus 2r into t so uh, allowable stress this is again equal to 200 mega pascal or 200 into 10 raised power 6 pascal value of k is 2.1 okay sigma average is p divided by w minus 2r into t value of w this is 40 mm 2r is 20 mm and t is 5 mm putting values and solving for the p we get the value of p in this case is 9.52 kilonewton okay so this is the value of p which can be applied to the bar so that the failure will not occur at the whole portion okay so as i told you earlier that the lower value will govern the design and the lower value is in the second case that is p is equal to 9.52 kilonewton it's it means that the maximum actual force that we can apply to this bar this is in the uh, this is in the uh, this is in the second case that is assuming by failure uh, at the hole which is equal to 9.52 kilonewton this is the maximum actual force that we can apply to this bar without causing failure to the bar this is how you can uh, find the stress concentration factor for an actually loaded bar which have the whole portion as well as the fillet portion i hope this solution video was clear to you and you learned something new if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.